Keep that applause going for your next act. It's Ray Badrin. Oh, hello. Hey, everyone. Hi. Hey, man. Um, <laughs> hey. Um, so, yeah, my name's Ray. Good to be here in Sydney. I'm from, I'm from Sydney. I've been living in London for the last couple of years. Good to be back. Oh, it's not that funny. Um, <laughs> oh, it is pretty funny, I guess, actually. Um, but it's nice to be back here in Sydney. Sometimes I'm in London, I'll open up the weather app. I'll see symbols I've never seen before in my whole entire life here. I've seen the number zero multiple times. I'm like, what? There's no degrees? <laughs> like none, none degrees whatsoever. I can't get my head around that. If someone came up to me and said, hey, man, what's the temperature? I'd be like, there is none. There's, <laughs> there's no degrees at the moment, you know? I don't know if the government's going to do something about this or <laughs> what's happening. Oh, I got stuck there for COVID. This is like the first time I've been back since like all normal. The last time I came back, I had to do this one flight. It was a new flight. It's like the only flight you could do, direct flight from London to Darwin. The longest flight in the world, they say. 19 hour flight. I hate a one hour flight. I 19 times more hate this flight, right? <laughs> and I'm on the plane. We haven't even taken off yet. We're in London. And the pilot comes on the speakers and he goes, hey guys, just to let you know, we've got a problem with the baggage. We're delayed here for 30 minutes. I'm like, oh, come on. And he goes, but don't worry, I'm going to make up this time in the air. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> are you saying you knew a faster way to go this whole time? <laughs> of course go that way, you idiot. <laughs> this guy had been taking the scenic route. <laughs> oh. I love eating chocolate bars, I love them. What's your favourite chocolate bar, brother? Uh, Kit Kat. Kit Kat? But I was asking him, but... Uh, <laughs> that's a pretty good answer, though, Kit Kat, I guess. Do you want to answer, man? Do you want to tell me? Uh, it's a Kit Kat as well. I don't think it is. I think you've just copied the guy behind you. That's OK, though. Kit Kats, Kit Kats do this all the time. See, chocolate bars, they're not releasing new ones anymore. It's like the movies, it's too risky. They'll just release variations of old chocolate bars, you know? Under the guise of limited edition chocolates. And I know it's a bullshit marketing scam, but I love chocolates. And there's still part of my brain that sees a limited edition chocolate and thinks, I'm not missing this once in a lifetime opportunity, you know? <laughs> One of my favourites is M&M's. I love M&M's. I was peanut. Yeah, they're pretty good, I guess. Um, they're the best. You just said Kit Kat was the best, man. <laughs> I don't have time for this. Um, I want to talk about the M&M's. Um, I was eating M&M's the other day. And you look down at them. There's just a singular M on each piece. And I thought, they're just M's, really, when you think about it. Don't worry, there's more to the joke. Um, <laughs> I, um, and then you look at the package, and it's M and M apostrophe S. And now you think, well, I don't know what anything fucking means now, you know? <laughs> what are they saying? Two of them own the rest of them or something? <laughs> Who knows? But then I thought, I wonder what the M stands for on the M&Ms. Nobody knows that. Nobody. Probably no one in this room. No one in my family knows that. I'll be the first person to know what the M stands for on the M&Ms. So I typed into Google, what does the M stand for on the M&Ms? And then I went into the Wikipedia page. And it's not as exciting as I thought, actually. It stands for the two people that made the chocolate. So one of them is 
Bruce Murray, the son of the Hershey's Chocolate uh, Company. And the other one is Forrest Mars, the son of the Mars Bar Company. Forrest Mars is a crazy name as well. You can't have a name that's half Earth, half out of space. <laughs> anyway. I thought I'd better figure out what Forrest Mars' life's been like, so I click into his profile. Forrest Mars, son of Forrest Mars Senior. Quite a productive day for me, actually. And, um, <laughs> he's the son of Frank Mars, the founder of the Mars Bar Company. And that, that's what blew my mind. This whole time, my whole life, I thought Mars Bar was named after Mars the planet. Not, not Frank, not, not Frank Mars. This has started up, this, I, I associated chocolates with intergalactic stuff all the time. What's next? Barbara Milky Way? Who knows? All right. Um, oh, I'll win you back with this. Um, so, uh, <laughs> nah, I've got to go. But um, they, say, uh, they, say, they say dolphins. Dolphins are the only other mammals on the planet that have sex for pleasure. And I'm thinking, not the one I'm fucking. No. Uh, <laughs> we're trying for a baby. Um, all right, have a good night. Thank you. <laughs>